All right, everybody, let's take a look at our little tutorial for today. We are going to try and simulate this look that you might see in the opening to a James Bond film during the opening credits, where you've got basically the outline of a person, and you take some footage, in this case it was some fire footage, and sort of blended that into the outline of the person. So let's take a look at this series of clips that I've got here so you can see what I'm talking about. Now in this case, we've got three different outlines here, and we've put three different colors of flame really into the outlines. So that's kind of what we're going to recreate. We're going to do one, and then if you want to do others, you can just simply repeat it on higher tracks. So let me switch to a new sequence here that we're going to work with. And I've gone ahead and put a couple clips in here. This is simply some fire footage that we had laying around. So we put that in on V1. And then on our V2 track is a basic green screen shot that we did in the TV studio. And the purpose behind this was to essentially make uh, an outline of her. You see we didn't put a whole lot of lighting on our subject. We were a little intense with the backlighting. Uh, you can even see the backlights that we used. That's going to help us cut the edge of our person. So to do this, we're going to start off uh, not quite with the spectrum matte chroma key effect yet. Uh, instead, we're going to deal with all this stuff that isn't green. Okay? And one way to do that is to come over to your effects palette under the category of image and get the paint effect. So we're just going to drag the paint effect and drop it on this clip and go into our effect editor. And what the paint effect is going to allow us to do is paint green over the top of anything that isn't green that we want to get rid of. So the way we do that is we come down and we click on our brush tool in our effect editor. The default paint is red. I don't think we want to be painting any red in here. So we need to change the color of it. So there's different ways to do it, but I find for chroma key, if you come to the color section and come over here to the red square, and you'll see my cursor turns into an eyedropper, I can click on that, drag it up here, and select a color green that matches our wall. And you'll see down here that the color green now is the, the color of the circle. So if I bring my brush out here, this is this square looking thing is actually a brush or cross looking thing rather. But I can click and drag and paint green over parts of this that I want to get rid of. So if you give me just a second here, let me go in and paint a bunch of green in here. This nice solid green color. There's one side. Now I'm going to come up here and get rid of this vent. And I realize that there's slightly different shades of green. I think we'll be OK here. We're going to take care of that light. And we're going to come down like this. And sort of make sure we get all the floor there. And pull out all of the green light. And then I'm going to come in. Uh, I'm going to get a little bit more of this bright white there. I'm going to run across the top, because this is all kind of bright up here at the top. So I want to even that out a little bit. And I'm going to come in, and if you can see this little white spot here on this card, we're just going to do a quick little dot right there. And real quickly, I'm just going to scan through here and make sure that our actress doesn't step into any of those green areas. Because if she does, we'll cut off a leg or a hand or something that she might want. So we don't want to do that. Cool. Now we've got everything cut out of here that isn't green. This is going to make our life easier. So now it's time to do some chroma keying. So if you've done basic chroma keying, you understand that you go to the key category and you get the spectrum mat effect. Now remember, we've already got one effect on this clip. So in order to make this work, we're going to have to hold down the option key on the keyboard and take the spectrum mat effect and drag it and drop it onto our green screen clip in the timeline. So by holding down option, it's going to keep the paint effect there and then add our chroma key effect or our spectrum mat effect. Here are the colors that we're cutting out. It defaults to this blue color. We're obviously going to change that. We're going to swing this cutout area here around to the green. So I'm going to come over here to my effect editor. Here's my color blue by default. Click on the eyedropper. Come over here and select a color green. And she's going to disappear. Or the background, rather, is going to disappear. And we see our fire behind there. We see a little bit of uh, rough transparency down here at the bottom. We're going to clean some of this stuff up. If we look real close, we can probably see some fire through her a little bit. So in order to clean up this uh, spectrum mat effect, 
If we come down here into our effect editor, we can turn on this checkbox that says show alpha. So we're going to turn that on. And that's going to actually give me this pure black and white image. So what we've got here is the white is the part of the shot that stays. The black's the part that disappears. And all this stuff that's gray becomes semi-transparent. We don't really want it to be semi-transparent. We want it to be here or gone. So we're going to have to do some tinkering. But our goal is to get rid of all the gray and have just our character be white and everything else be black. I'm going to start by turning the tolerances up a little bit. That's going to take out a little more of the green, I think. And then I find if I take my outer softness down a little bit, maybe up a little bit, OK? And then my alpha offset, we're going to take that up a little bit. There we go. And then I guess we're going to take that outer softness up, alpha offset up, inner softness down. And we almost got it. Take her with that alpha a little bit more, inner softness a little bit more. And eventually, if I do all that right, I can get pretty much a black and white image. I got a few pieces of junk hanging out over here, but I can get rid of most of that stuff. Okay, make sure my key saturation's down. Yeah, make sure those are down. Let's see if we can clean up a little bit more. Kind of like that. Every shot that you work with is going to be a little different, so you end up kind of playing with these controls until you get it just right. But that's kind of what we're looking for. And if we just play this, you're going to see your black and white image playing along there. Okay? And this is the next step. Now, if we turn off Show Alpha, we should see a pretty nice key. Okay? But we want to leave that on because we don't actually want to see our actress. We just want to see the outline of our actress. So we're going to leave that Show Alpha on. And then we're going to add the last effect that we're going to need to make this happen. Also in the key category is something called a matte key. And a matte key is designed to essentially make uh, the black parts of your shot disappear and the white parts stay. So if I take this matte key, I hold down Option on the keyboard, that's very important, and we add the matte key to these other effects <coughs> excuse me, that we've already put in there, everything that was black disappeared and it kept our outline. This is kind of a Charlie's Angels kind of silhouetted thing going on here, which is kind of cool. Not quite what we were after. Now, if this is what you were after, you're done. But we want to get this flame, instead of it being on the outside of her, we want to be, have it on the inside of her body. So we're just going to come into the effect editor for the matte key, and we're going to click on invert key, and that's going to reverse it. So now what we've got is this series of her moving. We've got fire where her body was. And if we were to render this out and play it at real time, you would see all that flame moving around inside her body. So that's pretty cool. If you wanted to repeat this and put different people on here, you could go up to a, a V3 track, put more fire, a V4 track, put another green screen, repeat all your effects. And in that case, you'd probably want to take one of these people and take your horizontal position and just kind of slide somebody over to the left or over to the right, however you want to do it to position your people, and then you'll be in good shape. So if that was kind of quick for you, back this video up, watch it again. Um, but it's basically three effects. We started with the paint effect, where we painted out anything that wasn't green. We added the spectrum matte effect, and we adjusted the key on that. The only thing that we did that was kind of different in there is we turned on this box that said Show Alpha. It gives us that black and white image. And then to that, we added the matte key effect, and we had to go in and invert the key to make it look like this. So I hope that kind of explains for you how this works. Give it a shot, and if you don't get it, come talk to me, and we'll make that happen. Good luck.